Solo 401ks and Secure 2.0. You might be surprised at how little Secure 2.0 has impacted Solo 401ks. Hi, this is financial planner Sean Mullaney. Let's discuss. So you may be aware, last year I wrote a whole book on Solo 401ks. It's titled Solo 401k, the Solopreneur's Retirement Account. And it came out just a little before Congress enacted Secure 2.0. Now, I had a chapter in that book sort of speculating about the future, and it even talked about an earlier version of Secure 2.0. So I sort of I covered it, but I didn't cover the final enacted version just because the book came out before the law changed. But then it turns out, you know, as applied to many solo 401ks, Secure 2.0 has had basically no impact. Well, why the heck is that? Well, I look at three of the largest pre-approved solo 401k plans, Fidelity, Schwab, and Vanguard. And look, I'm not here to tell you which uh, provider to go with or don't go with, but I thought it'd be interesting to look at those three providers and see how they're reacting to Secure 2.0. Interestingly enough, Secure 2.0 set up something where uh, workplace retirement plans, including solo 401ks, could have Roth contributions by the employer. Now, you may be aware that both before and immediately after Secure 2.0, both the Fidelity Solo 401k and the Schwab Solo 401k had no Roth conversions. Employer, employee, nothing, right? It was all traditional um, Solo 401k contributions, both for the employer and the employee. Okay, well, where do they stand now? It's been almost a year since Secure 2.0 got enacted, and guess what? They haven't moved an inch right? They still don't offer the Roth Solo 401k for either the employee or the employer contribution. So Secure 2.0 thus far hasn't changed those plans one bit. What about Vanguard? You know, Vanguard has offered historically Roth Solo 401k employee contributions. Wouldn't they see Solo or Secure 2.0 and just, you know, add to it uh, that, hey, all right, now we'll do the uh, employer Roth as well? Well, if you go to their individual 401k website, it actually states that uh, Vanguard is not adding Roth employer contributions to their solo 401k. So as applied to many solo 401ks, uh, Secure 2.0 has been mostly a dud. Um, Now, I think that's fine, right? I'm not here to critique these plan providers, but I will say it is interesting to see that they have not adopted or added to their solo 401ks to account for Secure 2.0. You know, I think for many self-employed Americans, right, one, if you want the Roth option, you can use a Roth employee provider, and they have up to 22500 for those under 50 in the year 2023. So that, that option is just available anyway. And I think a lot of folks during their working years benefit from those tax deductions. So it's almost like, well, why would we want to put a Roth employer contribution when that money in many cases probably better just deducted And then you can manage for, you know, either Roth conversions or low tax rate in retirement when you take that money out. There are ways to get that money out at a low tax rate. Um, And now there is something else. There are these catch-up contributions that apparently need to be Roth. Um, Now, it didn't apply for Schedule C, but it did apply for S-Corporation solopreneurs. Well, the IRS just delayed that by two years. So even that small slice of solo 401k users who are going to have to navigate that rule Well, they don't even have to navigate it now to the year 2026. So when it comes to Secure 2.0 and Solo 401ks, there's just not a whole lot to report. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please mash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.